Hiya folks and friends, I'm The Fringe and welcome to a very humble little game about a little froggy who has to self-isolate and I think we can all relate to that at the moment, all of you at home can relate to being stuck at home so this is just a silly little fun game that doesn't really have any dilemma where you play as a little frog living at home so if at any point you decide you like this video be sure to subscribe to become a friend of The Fringe let's go right okay so this is us, we are this little froggy guy here and Lily, Dad wants to talk to you. Okay, okay, he's downstairs. He's making a lot of noise. Okay, okay, this is our bedroom by the looks of things. Someone doing a jigsaw puzzle, probably our brother or sister. I get the impression that's meant to be our brother. Dad's downstairs, we know. Okay, so we're just going to have an explore, have a look around. See what's what. This game is all about just finding things to do, I think. And it's done in a really silly little sort of like cutesy context and I like that. It's my favourite book, Ribiter and the Planet Swamp. That's fantastic. That sounds like a great little book. And I like the Game Boy styling. I'm all about that life, if you catch my drift. Okie dokie, what's your story? Hello? Uh, it's so boring in here. Why is he wearing like a smoking jacket? Just sort of like chilling, kicking back? The tennis ball is my only solace. Okay. Living the dream there with your little tennis ball. You are all about that life. I want to explore up here first before we go any further. So, what's the stitch? Mama frog. Hey, Lily. I'm just trying to video call your grandma. I can't get this darn camera facing the right way. That sounds very mumsy. That's exactly the sort of things that parents do. It looks like a dream journal. The latest entry says, Dreamt two sea bass tried to steal my car whilst, whilst I was at the mall. I mean, we've all had that reoccurring dream, haven't we? Where sea bass are trying to take all your stuff and all your things. We've all been there. I didn't even think frogs could drive, to be totally honest, but we live and learn. Okay, go, go. So we're downstairs, pop a frog here, making some dindins. Hey Hon, everyone's been pretty bored cooped up around here lately. Everyone can relate. Some of you I'm sure are still working just like myself, but some of you will be stuck at home doing absolutely nothing. I was thinking we could do something fun, watch a movie or something. I rented Spy Frogs 3D and you can see I'm making my famous popcorn. You've always been the best at making these things exciting. Mind finding some stuff around the house? spruce up the living room and make it a little bit more fun. I'd do it myself, but these kernels can't catch. Thanks, Han. Okay, no worries. I'm assuming our name's Han. We're a very smiley frog. I've only just noticed that. Look how smiley we are. Okay, so little kitty here. Bit weird that the kitty cat is looking bored, but also that the cat is smaller than the frog. But, you know, I'm not going to add any context to that because if you are a little frog that's able to watch TV then you know this is a very different world where anything can happen. Can we go outside? I can't go outside right now. And so you should do. Stay at home. That didn't really make sense but you know we live and learn. That's fine. Right okay so I imagine we have to get an item of every said member of family to create this scenario where we're watching a DVD in the living space. Uh, you need my chair to set up for a movie. Spy Kids 3D it's a kids movie. It's totally lame. That should have said tadpoles. That would have been good. That would have. I need this chair for my feet. I'm so bored. Isn't there anything to read around here instead? Okay, so we've got to find something to read. It's a grocery list. That's something to read. You can read that. Pudding is written and crossed out several times. Everyone loves pudding. You know what I mean? If you want pudding, you want pudding. I'm all about that life. So this is technically something to read, I imagine. This book. It's a history of tadpoles, famous album. I don't think my brother wants to read about old music. Okie okay, okay. what's this? It's one of those gossip magazines. Okie okay, okay. I'm sure that he's going to be all over that. I'll take that. Take that straight up to him. We need a chair, you know what I mean? Never bribe someone with a magazine for a chair, but that's about to happen by the looks of things. Uh, is that riveting rabbit? Riveting ribbits. Uh, can I have that? Yeah, you can. Carry on. You take that. I don't have no need for a magazine. I'm going to go and watch Spy Kids 2 or whatever it was. Uh, you got a tennis ball. Okay, tennis balls are cool. Who can I bribe with a tennis ball? I feel like, let's go and speak to, to Mama Frog. See what Mama Frog's got to say. You want my blankets? How come? It gets cold in this house, Lily. You know how predisposed to chilling it your mother is. I've got an itchy nose. Oh, itchy, itchy, itchy. Okay. So we need blankets off her somehow, I imagine. I don't know where we're going to get said blankets, but 
uh, at some point. I'm sure we'll find out. Has the, the brother slash sister got anything to say? I don't know who's who. I think it's a brother, but it could potentially be a sister. I don't know. They're frogs. They're gender neutral frogs. Dad wants to watch a movie and you need my pillows. Weird. Sounds fun. I've got to finish this puzzle though. I need to find the piece of the horsey Henry's cute face. Okay, okay. I have to know how cute he is, Lily. Okay, strange. Whatever. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so we're now looking for a jigsaw piece. Something to bribe with sheets. I mean, does the cat do anything? Arp, arp. He looks bored too. Give him a tennis ball. Yes, here we go. I don't know what the cat's going to give us in return. It definitely is a cat. Okay. A sweater. Okay, so we've got a sweater, which I know, uh, I potentially know even that maybe, potentially, just necessarily, but not really, could be used for Mama Frog to to be happy in life or something. That's what I'm going with. I'm so lost. It's about four in the morning. I'm very, very tired. Very, very tired. Oh, would you look at that? It's my sweater. I've been wondering where that old thing ran off to. You've got to be. It's got to be four in the morning to play something like that. Uh, mind handing that to me, Lily. Here you go. I suppose I won't be needing these. Go ahead and go ahead and take them for your project, Lily. You've got some blankets. Why is this covered in hair? Okay, that's great. It's a jigsaw piece. Yes, it's a puzzle piece featuring a very dashing horse. Take it? Question mark. Damn straight. I take that puzzle piece all day long. We're going to go and have a party. Well, we're not. We're going to go and give this to our brother. I'm pretty sure at this point it's a brother. But I don't know why there's just something feminine about it. That, wait, is that horsey Henry? Yes, the very same. Lily, thank you. He looks so cute with all of his friends. Here, you can have my pillows. I'll be down in just a second. We are doing fantastically well. We've almost got this scenario fully set up. Don't ask me why the rest of the house aren't helping out with this sort of thing. And don't ask me why we got that chair in return, actually, because it's just dawned on me that actually sitting reading a magazine with your feet up would just be way better in general. Are we missing anything else? What could we possibly be missing? You got all that, eh? <laughs> I see what you're planning. I think it still needs one more something to make it really special. I think you can find something. Okay, I'm going to assume that is the box that is upstairs. Upstairs there is a box with stuff and things in, so I'm going to imagine that that's, that's what it's for, because I was wondering why it existed. A storage box full of holiday lights and ornaments. Take something. Yes, fun. You took some string lights. We're going to have, well, this is going to be a party. This is socially distancing with style, you know what I mean? All about that life. So bang this together, have a chat, get your lights on the go. All right, looks like we're all ready. You get set up and I'll call everyone downstairs. This could be the end of the game. Wow, this blanket fort is so cool. I can't believe you made this, Lily. So, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is what you needed my blankets for. Are those our fairy lights? It looks just lovely. I know this is a kid's movie, but there sure are a lot of cool actors in it. Everyone's happy, everyone's living the dream. I'm very tired. <laughs> really tired. Uh, this is my favourite part of the movie. Yeah, watch this, Lily. He's going to take his sunglasses off. Oh, the madness. Crazy man taking his sunglasses off. Do you like the popcorn, dear? I put some dill in it. Yeah, because dill in popcorn, that's fine. Just the way you like it. Oh, it's delicious. Honey. Dad, can we keep this blanket for, 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 for tomorrow? Lily worked so hard on it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Beats sitting by the window. I could give up my blankets for one more night. Saying settled then. We'll have to watch the sequel tomorrow. Great work, Han. Who's Han? Are we Han? I think we're Han. And that's the end of the game. That was quite humbling, wasn't it? A little bit of fun, a little bit silly. No real dilemma. Nothing bad happened. Very, very chill gameplay. Very retro, and I actually quite liked it. So if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. Please be sure to subscribe to become a friend of the Fringe. And please be sure to leave me a comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.